how's it going everybody? This is T-Bone here. Welcome back to another episode of the Mythic Unit Highlight. Uh, this week I've decided to go for the General and uh, so what I'm going to do is let's go and uh, fight in Lima Expert and then I'll show his, his gameplay and then we can go into um, Manila Insane with a full team to sort of show how we can use the unit effectively. So it was the last time uh, when I did the walk-off and uh, there was a comment that I didn't actually feature the walk-off in a full team format and I realized that you know that that's actually really a good a good point. So besides showing the unit by itself I also wanted to show how the uh, unit would look and, and work as a group. So let's go ahead and get started. I chose Lima Har because, uh, Expert because uh, you know I wanted to be able to control the, the unit, uh, you know, with some big units, and I wanted to show off uh, the perks that the general has. So the perks I selected for the general, I'm going to go in direction, and it's going to be left, right, right, uh, and that is 40% uh, more bullets, and it will be also uh, reduced in the, uh, the spread of the shots. And the last perk for level uh, 50 is Stonewall which will actually reduce the, the movement speed of the units by uh, 30%. So the idea is uh, when you have the, uh, the generals shooting at those large enemies, they will actually slow down by 30%, giving you more time uh, for the other units to dispatch them. And also because they have melee, you can let them get close to you and they're actually able to handle it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, heal them up and sort of see, show you how they could I'm gonna help them a little bit though so because they they, they do have a good melee but when they're sw uh, swarmed by zombies uh, they will get in trouble so the best thing is to let them shoot from far away uh, let a tank take care of uh, the, the zombies and then uh, have them shoot in the back and right now I seem to have a zombie that is to the left somewhere so I'm gonna try and see if I can find him oh there he is and drop a Molotov cocktail and end the level there. So what I've shown here really was uh, I'm, I'm trying to show the spread so the idea is having the spread be uh, you know sh smaller it's supposed to concentrate more firepower so that when they get in a line you can have a better uh, so you can actually get them to to line up and then uh, shoot at them and, and uh, damage the units more effectively. So let's take a look at the quickly at the perks uh, for a general and I'm going to pick my uh, level 30 musket here because the perks are the same. So like I said, uh, level 10 needle gun uh, increases the bullets by 40% and then for the general I chose rifle musket which reduces the shot spread by 50 and then for the level 50 I chose uh, stone wall which decreases target movement by at least 30%. Okay, so uh, it has really long range, you know, uh, for a musket here, the range is, uh, if I can see, the maximum range is 90. I'm not sure if it's the same for a, gener uh, for a general or not, but as you can see, it has a really long range, and because of the number of bullets, it can be really effective at helping control the, the, uh, the, the, the drones. So let's go ahead and uh, play in Manila Insane now, and let's see what would be the makeup for for a team so I'm going to take out take out the 30 fire chief I'm going to replace them with my 50 fire chief for uh, you know for the purposes of getting a tank I'll adding my hacker and as usual I believe that the best thing to do is to bring in a sniper I usually like to bring two so I'm going to also bring in a sharpshooter uh, where is my, I have a level 30, not sharpshooter, but I have a level 30 bushwick. So I'm going to bring in a bushwick instead. Uh, what else do I need? I think I need a better gunner. I happen to have a level 40 ballista. I'm going to bring her in. And I wanted to uh, probably show off the rough rider next time. So I'm going to bring in a, um, Command a Desperado. And so I've got a big tank, a couple of gun units, and I'm going to bring in a Sawbones to revive any units that may die. And I'm going to have my general 
just sit in the back along with the, the snipers and just mow down the zombies, slowing them, slowing them down at the same time. All right, so this is the one level where I, I always lose my tanks because they keep grabbing with the, uh, the matriarch. So I'm going to place all of my sniper units right in the middle here. I'm going to have my gunners off to the side. And let's see what happens here. I could also place a gunner right here so that it's between the tank and my healer. Uh, so let's let's see how that goes. All right. So right away, my my fire chief got 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 taken. So I'm going to in quickly reinforce her, reinforce that spot. Yeah. So bring my sawbones back in to revive the unit. And now what I need to do is also bring my fire chief here to taunt them. Okay, and then bring in my ballista to help out here. So the, the ninja is really powerful and uh, takes a lot of damage off of my, my fire chief, as you can see. And let's see, so... Alright, so with that combination, I was able to, to beat the level pretty pretty well, but that's because my, my sawbones was able to revive a lot of the units. And so I think... Uh, Hopefully you can see it, but having the general there uh, can help a lot just by you know having the, the number of bullets spring into uh, into the crowd. And let's let's try this one more time. And maybe this time I'll I'll have less units. Maybe I won't bring in the snipers. I'll bring just my um, I'll bring in yeah. I'll, that's what I'll do. I'll take away the snipers so I can show off just the general. And I'm going to change out my hacker to a, a unit that is more likely what someone will have. I'll change it to level 31. I'll bring in a sensei just to bring in another uh, tank unit. And I will change my ballista for level 30 uh, gunslinger and maybe a scatter shot. Okay, so this is, I think, a, a much better. And I'll change this 50 to a level 40 um, timber beast. So this is a more common scenario for what, what what kind of units people may have. So let's see how that works out now with a uh, general in the mix uh, at level 50. Okay, so for this map, all right, I do have to worry about this point and this point uh, because I don't have, I actually don't have a taunt unit, so I'm going to have to play somebody here. But for now, I'm going to put my general right here. I Again, I will place, what I will do is I'm going to place a timber beast, a gunner, and a sawbones together in one group. That places some distance between my tank and my healer. I'm going to put my gunner in the back. Now, I'm actually going to put my scatter shot there because she has a limited range and I will have my uh, Desperado right here to support. So, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to fill this spot later with my tank once they once they fill up. But first what you can see is um, the general's in the back doing his thing and I've got my, okay, so I think I need to support my Sensei later as well um, with a sawbones to ensure that he survives. And I need to put him right there. Okay, and fill in another general. So with the so the, the general provides you know long distance support. And I guess I could put in another scatter shot here. Okay, so right now the problem is uh, I have Apocalypse, which our units cannot damage right now, so I need to put in my Desperado to actually provide some damage. And then I'm going to put my Sawbones here to revive them, and I'm going to bring in those pest, pesty uh, matriarchs into the middle, and let's, let's bring a gunner to shoot her down. All right. So right now, this is the, this is the issue with Apocalypse, as you can see. Um, the, the 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 gun units have really had a hard time, and I think what happened there was uh, their level three perk 
for uh, getting a critical shot was activated, and that's how they were able to damage the apocalypse at the, as, at the last minute. So um, the general wasn't able to, to uh, damage him. So you need to make sure for at least for Manila, for ti uh, for Titan type units, bring in something strong like a Desperado that can actually damage the unit, or a high level tank, uh, or uh, the best case is to bring in a sniper to deal with those units. So hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, this episode. This one showed a little bit more. Uh, of you know lesser the pure 50s or really high level units so this goes to show you can also be effective in doing uh, manila insane using regular units hope you enjoyed it and uh, take care i'll see you next time